Are you like me where it can be sunny all day long until you come outside to do something and then it immediately starts to sprinkle rain from the sky? Sure. Let's find out if this is the thing that pushes me to the end of my rope right after this. Welcome back. If you haven't seen my videos before, I'm Ross the Oliver Man. Yeah. I wanted to do some more work on this, but then I decided, hey, let's do the feeding first. So I fed the bovines. I opted for a slightly different strategy this time because it's still so wet on the top of the ground from all of this rain. And so what I did... I just drove out to where there was some nice dry grass and just ran a trail on the ground, which they can eat from. That won't hurt them. I mean, they eat grass off the ground anyway. And that way, everything is dry and they're not standing in mud and rooting up my drive area over there any more than necessary. We'll let that get a little more solid before we go back to that. That Plus, that gives them a little more room, uh, you know leave a good pile and just drive really slow and they'll get the most out of that but that takes care of them on to this bit of failure yep you're probably getting sick of it but i gotta get it out of here it's got to go back to work and i hate it so last installment i think the battery cut off and then it was time to leave and sadness ensued and what have you but I actually have two more chains to replace other than this one, which I'm in the process of right now. I'll explain in a minute. This chain should be that chain, which we will wait to put on until we get this all tore down because that is the chain that drives that, I believe. No, it's not, is it? Dumb dumb. That chain's on the other side. Okay, so we can change this one now. That one is the one that drives the middle box on this drill. This drill is confusing to work on because when you look at the parts book, they're not assuming that you have this hole from here back. All of this is optional as evidenced by, you see that uh, bolt on piece. So this is your native grass box and then the small seeds box. We need to work on the little delivery meter things for that by replacing them and we need to change the chain for this so i guess that means we can in fact go back to what i was doing and get this all squared away to where we're done with this side of the drill now what i discovered sadly enough when doing this was that i have way more chain than what i need I ordered from the parts book specifically to avoid this problem. However, what I feel is probably partially the issue is that uh, we don't have the biggest sprocket on there possible. Consequently, I don't think anyone has ever changed that sprocket, even though they probably should for whatever they're doing. But they just don't do it. So I'm thinking what they did is they gave you enough chain for the biggest sprocket, okay? However, the trouble that I have there is I am not able to take up that amount of slack, I don't believe. Uh, we can play with it again here just to be sure, but I thought the other day when I messed with it, although I was getting frustrated because everything was not working. What else is new? Uh, I should probably just for once get the right tools but i never do that but anyway what i'm saying is i'm wondering now if i were to adjust both of these to the maximum would that take up all the slack in my chain in which case that's probably what i need to do i still think it's going to be way too much because that's all the way down 
And if I put this one all the way up, I think I'm still gonna have to take out a link or two or four. But I mean, this is such a, what do we wanna call it? The word we're looking for is cluster of sadness. Okay. Now, the moral of the story is, if we, I don't even, I, I really don't want to be adjusted at the maximum because then that means, you know, we can't, can't tighten it up any when it starts getting loose. So if I did that, yeah, see, I still got a droopy mess here. You see what I'm saying? I could still take out quite a few links, actually. So, now the question is, how many do I actually want to take out? I don't think I should probably take out as many as I initially thought, just because I want to be able to tighten this up and quite honestly the likelihood that anyone is going to uh, change it very very low okay so if we follow that train of thought this is the link I want to make go bye-bye which I'm going to try to mark that one's got to go bye-bye. Now, sadly enough, I was about 99.4% sure that a while back a viewer actually sent me a chain-breaking tool. And I can't remember where I put it. I set that thing down. I thought I put it in the service truck. And maybe I did, and I just haven't laid my hands on it yet. So, I'm sorry, viewer, that I can't use that right now, but I've looked and looked for it, but I know it'll turn up again it very possibly could be in the basement if that's when that, if it came when that video was filmed. You know what I'm saying? I thought it was in the back of my server, or in the back of my uh, super cheap super duty, but I couldn't find it. And I looked everywhere I thought, so I'm going to have to go old school, which involves just grinding the rivet heads off today with the angle grinder or what have you. And then we will hook this up and go, you know. So, I suppose I will go do that, and I'll bring you right back. All right, we're back, if you didn't guess, and we should be good to go, providing I can get this lock to stay on there. You're supposed to be able to just slide them up over the end. I never have much luck with this style that way. I just try to trick them into behaving. I don't know. There we go. I think we got her licked on there. Now we got to put some tension on the sucker. I would say one would want to do that by first starting with the back one as I grab the opposite one, what I'm talking about. But yeah, I'm going to put it about, about right there, I think. And if you do this right, they'll both fall out of adjustment and you'll have to start all over. And that's always a wonderful time. You see what Great Plains has done in their infinite wisdom tree. That's a fancy word I just made up for you. They put the uh, idlers here on a long bolt. There's nothing holding them side to side, so they can kind of self-center, you see. In school, they told you self-centered was bad, but here, it's good. So, that's why it is what it is and why I'm doing the things that I am doing. 
Now, this is kind of a feat of engineering to really get this to do what you want it to do. But typically you can kind of start with it downhill and as you tighten it, it'll level out and then get the perfect amount of tight if you don't let it slide up like I think I just did. So. All right. How is that? That's probably very acceptable. I have a feeling that after it gets used the first hundred acres or so it really is going to have to be tighter than that again like i said i overcompensate a lot of time because i'm always worried that uh you know what i'm saying i'm always worried that well i know people aren't going to maintain it so i just try to try to do things enough to where they're going to last hopefully until the next time that I get to see it. And that don't always work the way I envisioned it, but sometimes it does, you know. Sometimes it does. Now, I'm supposing that any second it's going to torrential rain on me, just because, why not? Those are nylon lock nuts. But I'd like to go ahead and put this chain on so that I could be done with one side of this drill and I could go on and live my happy life you know because my life ain't that happy a lot of the time there's a lot of sadness I don't remember if these are welded in so they won't fall out or if they're gonna just be carriage bolts and fall out any second and then lose them I don't remember haven't had it off of there for just a little bit. Sure. Yeah. Okay. I was hoping that maybe the connector link would have done a cute thing and been out in the open. Worst I could get to it, you know. But she don't look like that's going to happen. Probably. Although it's so dirty that who could tell. But also, because of everything else we need to do, namely those, and also fixing that clutch plate I talked about once before, uh, the drill really needs to be down. So I'll just go ahead and let it down, and then that'll let me be able to turn everything with the crank and get the chain wherever I need it to be. So you hang on, because you're gonna go for a ride. Now, if nature smiled on us, the clutch is now together, I should be able to turn this whole shebang and everything starts moving the way it's supposed to. See how cute that is? I think I see that link and I think if I can get it up to that hole, that's probably what I'm gonna work on it at. Oh, I forgot I laid that on the wheel, sure. Was this it? It sure looked like it. Yes, it is. Okay. Yeah, it's going to rain just enough to make me stop doing this thing. Which I hate, because I want progress done on this. This is translating into a pretty good sized bill. And I want this out of my life for a while. I want to see what new and creative ways people will destroy it. You know what else I just realized of how I am a dum-dum? That's a long uh, list of things. Not only did I drop that plate, but I also dropped those lock nuts for these that I was so careful to make sure that I did not lose. But through my stupidity, I have now shaken them very far away probably never to be seen again I got three out of the four things hunted up here and the fourth one I guess I'll either have to get a new one or just 
I guess if I'm so motivated I could get a magnet and probably find it. But We will deal with that in a minute. Let's try to hit some progress here. Let's just forget everything we just decided. Yeah, I'm not even making sense anymore. I should probably also take the tension off this chain, you know? Wouldn't that be something that people would do that would actually make some type of cohesive sense instead of just nonsense like what I usually am dealing with here? Let me see if I can go make that happen. What are the chances that I'll get it without busting my knuckles? Probably not very good. Oh, that was a naughty word I was thinking. Let's try... Now, let's try this. Or not. I'm just having a, a time. Let's see. Righty tidy, Lucy loser. Sure. I wonder if just doing one would be enough. Why would it be enough? It never is enough. Nothing I do ever just works easily. I always have to take the long way around. I'm really bummed about that nylon lock nut. You see that cute little feller? Why did I have to be a dum dum and immediately forget that I laid that up there? I found the other one over here, which is not in the line of sight of where you would think that that would have, yeah. So I don't know. But I'm getting distracted again with the task at hand. Stuff is falling apart, I think. I say to myself. Leaves are blowing. You know, storms are brewing. Why? Because I have stuff I want to get done. That's why. All day long. It was sunshiny while I wasn't home. And then when I get home, sadness abounds. This is where I need to remember how this is going to be because if you get it the wrong way around those idlers, you just don't, your chain just don't come out right. And it's a sad day when your chain don't do its thing. Oh wow, this chain's different. This one came with a half link in it. And none of the other ones have done that. Which would be super handy because... Let's go discuss this on a flat surface. I keep running into that crank. It's going to get tossed pretty far away here shortly. But I know somebody will ask, what is a half link? Well. Sometimes you need just a little bit more, but not too much. And there is a half link. And what I'm saying is, you see how a roller chain is like one link is on the outside and then you have a link on the inside? Well, just think of each one of these outside ones as a connector link. And it's connecting together two of these. The two rollers that are sandwiched between two flat plates. That is actually a link of chain, and then this is the connector piece, and it's just a bunch of those links that have been permanently riveted together, and that makes a chain. Sometimes you don't have room to add a whole nother section, because if I were to take one of these out, I would have, let's call these female sections, I would have two female sections there, and that's what you need a connector link. Well, if I put in another link, I'd have to put in a male link on one, but then the only way that I could do this, and this is not making sense already, I can tell you. In other words, you wouldn't be able to just put in one extra link. Because if I connected another link, I would have to do it in like two links, literally, the distance. In order to get the right combination of things I needed to be able to connect the chain back together. 
So when you need just a little bit more, but not that much, you can put in this half link, which is made totally different, you see. It's essentially an inside roller and then a connector link made into one piece. So you essentially get half a link. You add one roller instead of two rollers is I guess the more scientific way to say it where you will understand what I'm talking about. So we do that thing and then you can you know, add just a little bit or a flip side of that, what's nice about them, you can take a little bit out when they get too stretchy, take out the half link, drag this over, connect it up and you're golden. But that's unusual because nothing on this from new had half links. I added half links to it one time and took out some links so that I had some adjustment in the field when they would call me and say there's some type of problem. I could keep shortening it up with just basic tools in your pickup, you know. But enough rambling. Let's stab ourselves in the hand. That'd be a good thing to do next. In other words, disconnecting this link. And you see they have a little, this little lock piece has a little wide spot where it'll go through the head of the rivet and then when you pull it tight, the end of the pin has a groove cut in it. Most of you probably all know that if you're watching this because, yeah. But you never know. Sometimes people are too afraid to ask stupid questions, but I figure not everybody knows everything, so I'm just going to tell you whether you like it or not. If you know it already, don't listen. Sure. So, let's make bad choices. What are these things, you ask, if you wondered that to yourself silently? This is an idler. It does nothing other than just help route the chain to the right place so it doesn't hit anything on its journey. This is the sprocket that runs the agitator inside that box we looked at. And then this is actually the thing that drives the units, the metering system of the box. And you see how they all turn super nice and freely. So that is what I did the other day when I eliminated that as a cause of things that could be sadly happening to me and why nothing wanted to work in my sad, pathetic life. It wasn't these things, because they turn beautifully, is what I'm saying. So, that being said, there ain't no real grand way to do this. Because where we gotta go, I should have probably tried to do that trick where I used my old chain to pull my new chain. And I guess I still could do that. If I just do this number here, I'll just gently stick this in there. That's what she said. And hopefully it won't fall out whilst I pull. I flubberdy dubbered, didn't I? See, that one's all the way down, which means the chain was under it. Oh, but they're both all the way down. Oh, I let that one all the way down. That one was all the way up, and that one's all the way down. So I am right. I am right. I'm right! How about that? That's something. Who had that on their bingo card? Not me. I'm right. No way. Okay, who else had struggle till you can't take it anymore? Because I had that on my card. What we're trying to do is get here where we can work. See? Now, see? I gotta see that this is really gonna do it. Boy, this chain seems super long too. Like way longer than it needs to be. Like, I'm not gonna be able to take that slack out of this one either. Oh, <laughs> dum dum. Not too smart. It goes under that one. It's got to. And then it takes the right path. But I still got a ton of slop. Let's try for a minute. I'm going to get the connector link. Oh, now it's starting to rain good. This will be the part where we take a vacation. If I put this connector link in, 
I will immediately lose it. Now what I want to do is put this chain together enough just to see if I tighten the idler if it will even remotely be enough or if I'm going to have to just go ahead and take some links out of that. Which is going to require pulling up on this again. And I don't know that I can do that. Can I? Yeah, see that? Well, that's kind of like the other one was. If anything, I'll take the half link out and I think I'll call her golden. But that'll do it. Uh, I'll put the half link in my toolbox in the Super Cheap Super Duty so that I can add that back in at a later date, you know. When the chain gets stretched, you got to take some out, put the half link in, and then later on when it gets stretched super bad, you take the half link out again, and then after that you cry and buy a new chain because your life fell apart. It's getting kind of cold out here with this wind. Sure would be fun to get pneumonia too on top of this, wouldn't it? I mean, that's a struggle I haven't had for a while. So why wouldn't we... Why wouldn't we add that to the mix? If it starts pouring much harder, I'm going to call this quits for now. And we'll come back tomorrow and finish it. Then I can figure out what I'm going to call this pathetic video of just mounting chains, you know. Also interesting to note, half links have a hole where one side's flat so the pin doesn't spin. Spinning pins are the fatality of a lot of stuff. It can't take that constant turning, especially on these little cotter keys. Cotter pins, is that what we want to call them? This little job here. Just a piece of wire. And it will wear out. So, there we go. There we go. Yeah, see, we got to tighten that chain more about her there, because... Uh, that really makes me wonder, though... whether this was really correct. Well, just a minute and I'll tell you what I'm thinking. Basically what I'm thinking to myself, and you can't see in your mind what I'm rambling about, just because these chains were on here one way, doesn't mean that somebody else didn't screw them up at some point in its life and put them on wrong. So what I'm working on with my mind is we need to make double sure here in a second that the chain isn't going to rub the frame. Yeah, that would be bad sadness. Bad sadness. That's a compound word I combined into one. Also, what we're going to do... Oh, is do the opposite of what we should do. Because we're not too smart. Remember. If you're not too smart, sometimes you have the link upside down and you're pulling on the wrong side. Okay, come on. There we go. See, that's bad. We don't want that. But I'm saying that that's probably the way it was in its lifetime. But when we pull this up, it should be fine. Yeah. See, it's going to take that right up off of there. So, let's pull up on this again. I really need to get a pry bar probably to help myself. I don't think I'm going to get this. Uh, I have to have something to help me hold it. Well, 
All right, how you can get too hot in the wind and the rain, I'll never know. But now we got a good, you know, inch and a half, two inches underneath the chain and that bar, like it was. So we should be good to go. If I turn everything, everything turns all the way, and we're good to go. So this side of the drill should now be done. And we're going to walk away and live our happy lives. I'm going to put that cover back on, which includes but not limited to finding another nut or finding back the original one. But that ain't no that ain't no problem. It's just a matter of yeah. I have some nylon lock nuts somewhere, so I'll get on that project. All right, that's done. Now let's forget about all that stuff laying there and we'll lose it later. Let's go around to this side. I threw the chain over here that I got. I think the chain that I got, and I don't know why I ordered just this one, but I think it's this one. Our shaft is kind of loosey-goosey in there, isn't it? That bearing ain't the greatest, but uh, it's not wore out yet. So I'm not going to look at it too hard. We're going to try to get it to winter. Plus, this side very rarely gets used. So, what I'm going to do now... Boy, there's just nothing on this thing that looks pleasant, is there? It kind of looks like that shaft's running downhill. But this drill will fool you because there's so many things at angles and different things that stuff can look different than what it actually is. So you got to kind of watch the reason that it is the way it is sometimes just to make it run in line all the way back so you just gotta not look too close i guess but that is neither here nor there i think oh i do have one more cover to put on that side we can do maybe in a second but we need to get this plate off of here because as you recall it holds the bottom fork half of the clutch which is now not ever disengaging because of the way that it is. So you'll understand that more in a minute when I get this off of there. I need to get the other wrench, which is consequently on the other side of the drill. But whilst I'm doing that and have to walk over there anyway, we should put that cover back on. I think it's laying on here. Yes, it is, because it's one of the first things I had to take off to make this happen. Sure, windy for no reason, you know? Absolutely fun. The wind is blowing all my bags and stuff around. Just to make a mess. That's not right, is it? Is that right? Maybe it is. Yeah, it is. That's the way it is. This piece is made to go on either side, see? That's why there's four holes drilled in it. that though it should be good all right are we satisfied not till we twist off these little wing nuts there we go now that side's done i don't know how much longer we'll work it's getting to be dark and i've kind of set limits for myself i'm tired of working 24 hours a day so when the sun goes down, so do I. Especially if it's not something for me. <laughs> These people that are paying, they can wait. That's just the way it's going to be from now on. Because I'm getting burned out of working all the time. I mean, all the time. Should we take that all the way off and twist it off or just leave her hang? Well, I like to live dangerously. So let's see what you can't see on camera. Maybe you can. Is that this very small quarter inch wing bolt is turning absolutely difficultly. Not easy. And at any moment, we're going to hear the tink of sadness. You know that sound? 
the sound where you have to start getting out the thread repair tools sure oh I was gonna say I lost this other one but it's there so we'll just let that hang put this one here I'm gonna have to go get a hoodie or something if I stay out here very much more probably not though I will probably just quit for a bit We gotta take this totally off to do what I gotta do. And you'll understand here in a little bit. You should understand in a little bit what I gotta do. I explained it once, but it occurs to me that some people aren't good listeners. Also, it occurs to me that people skip around on the video and then they ask the exact question of the thing I just did. And I'm very confused all the time, like, are you not, why or do you not know that thing? You know, so. Or if they watch it and they pretend like they don't know that I said that, so they can give that as a suggestion and sound super smart and make me sound super dumb. Well, folks, I don't need help sounding super dumb. So keep that to a minimum, please. There we go. All right. Should we pick up our pieces? Well, and I mean of our life. Well, I don't know. There it is. I was going to say, that needs to go. Yeah. Okay. It's going to make sense in a minute, I promise. Okay? I promise. I'm just going to put my stuff back together here so I don't lose it. All right, thus is the plate, friends. You see how this plate's made? And this plate, as we showed on the other uh, side of the drill, actually this one I think might be due to be replaced soon because it seems a little bit not my favorite, but it holds that back half of the clutch stationary so it does not move. And then this piece pivots with the wheel when the wheel goes up and down. And then when the two halves come together, like now, your drill is driving. Well, this one, the plates slip back and let the pieces come together, and the drill's always been driving. So, what I have to do, because of the way that they made this for some silly reason, they actually made this with these holes slotted this way, and those holes on the drill slotted this way, which allows it to be able to do this. So in order to prevent that from happening, what I have to do is have to drill another hole in this to where I can actually bolt another bolt beside this one, and then that won't let it do that anymore. That's what I had to do on the other side, and it worked dandy. But I'm gonna just double check before I do that stupid thing. I don't think it's gonna affect me in any way. But I need to make sure that I don't drill that wrongly because that would be sad too. But I'm pretty sure that anywhere I go with it in this neighborhood is gonna get us there with all the play we have in it. As long as this piece does not change, we can adjust other things accordingly. We just can't have it be doing whatever it wants later on in life. All right. Let's see how bad we failed. See, this bolt has no other purpose in life other than keeping it from turning. So we can be a little less excited about that one. I'll stick it down from the top so that it... Uh, you know what I'm saying there, friends. I think... The way that this was yeah so I gotta put this back on here and then I've got to probably do one at a time because I gotta get that started on there and it's just far enough away where you can't get your hand to it 
So I'm probably going to cheat a minute by leaving it, getting it started, but leaving it loose. And then what I can do is slide it back, hook it on that other deal. Clutch in there. And then we're going to put this in here. Yeah, because see what's going to happen is it's only going to rattle around while. Uh, while it's together, in other words, while the machine's running, the only time that piece is going to be loose. The rest of the time, that piece is actually going to be under tension from the stress in its life. No, it's going to be under tension from the other half of the clutch. The other half of the clutch pushing against it. So, sure. Can we fix it? Well, we're not too bright, but so far we've managed this much. It's going to make me go in a very not happy way. It's going to make because of the way that it is, I'm going to have to just work and work and work at this. There we go. That should work. Shouldn't it? I never know. I never know. But that should be fine. Right like it is. Oh, we're going to play that game. There we go. There. All right. Now, if we did our job, when I raise that back up, it's going to come apart, and that will be like it's disengaged. Also, should we do that now and know that we're done? In which case, we should probably pick up our stuff that we laid precariously on here. Learning our lesson from last time. Now, if we watch that clutch, it should come apart as it goes up. doing that thing all right let's go back and double check see this side is separated I can turn without driving everything let's take this with us and we'll try the same thing on the other side and it should be that way now too we turn and we're only turning the outside and not the machine now if I let it back down, that clutch will go together. Maybe. It'll bounce a few times before it goes in. That happens sometimes. Sure. The weather is just not cooperating with me here. But we're almost done. But now if I turn it, the clutch is together. The whole shebang runs. I was turning it backwards there. But yeah, see the whole shebang turning? The whole metering units and all. So that's working correctly again. And that's what we were after. 
So now if I put this back on, this should be the final piece of this puzzle. And that part's done. Or though, do we want to put this chain on? I might be of the mind that we just wait on that till the season is done. I don't know. Let me think on that. Either way, it's not going to affect me putting this cover back on. So for tonight, the cover goes back on. I'll probably put that chain on just to use it up so it's not sitting here forever. And uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying. We'll pick that part up in the next video, you know. I don't know what I did with my vice grip again, but it lives on in my heart. Yes, that's what I'm saying. There it is. Good. Good. Walk away. All right. So that about wraps up another installment in sadness that is rental equipment. But that side of the drill is complete. That was the thing it came here for. So we're ready for them to tear it up in new and exciting ways. And then now the last thing to do whilst I have it here is these because that was complained about too a while back but i didn't have time to tear it all down i mean look at that one that one's practically wore around so that would not meter very well and this is a fun time friends because i'm telling you the last time i did it you got to take the drive thing loose then you got to take every one of these jobbies out of there i'm pretty sure is how i did it it's been a, a little bit but you take all these off, the whole thing as one, drop it down like on this to here and work. And then you got to take those cutter things out of each hole. There's a cutter pin on each side of the plastic. And you just start in the middle and just keep going. Actually, I might have started all the way at the end because of this and didn't take the drive sprocket off. I don't remember. But I know that it is not the kind of enjoyment that one would like to have on a Saturday night. So we'll get that done. That'll be a big job. That'll be an all day job practically by the time we fool with it. Uh, but it's gotta be done. I mean, it's gotta be done. That's the way it is. There's no good access to this to get this loose. Uh, we can take this idler loose and then let the tension off the chain. But there ain't a good place to get your hand in there because this is structural. So they weren't really thinking on that one. But what you going to do, you know, when they come for you? I don't remember if I took the handle off, if that gave me a little bit of access. It might have. I think it, that could just be a tin cover now that I'm looking at it. But it's still, yeah, it's crowded up in there. It'll come back to me. Don't worry. I should have probably ordered a whole bunch of these new. I'm sure they'll lose those but they're all here this time one time I came half of them were gone so yeah we're gonna call this one here and we'll pick it up next time do you enjoy seeing a basic white man in his middle 30s struggling at life if so hit that thumbs up and leave us a comment because all of that stuff is supposed to help us out and grow the channel and we can keep making more stuff like what you just saw as always thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.